up guys, Blu-ray Billy here, back for another video, and today I'm going to review 10 Cloverfield Lane. 10 Cloverfield Lane is directed by Dan Trachtenberg, and is a sequel to Cloverfield, I guess you could say. Me personally, I wouldn't call it a sequel to Cloverfield, I really like the first Cloverfield, but this film isn't really related to that film, um, so yeah. Now, going into 10 Cloverfield Lane, I was really looking forward to it because I wouldn't stop watching the trailer over and over again. Um, I kept on watching it. Um, it was an amazing trailer um, and I really liked the first Cloverfield, as I said. So, for those reasons, I was looking forward to 10 Cloverfield Lane. Guys, I really enjoyed 10 Cloverfield Lane. Does it have its flaws? Yes, but as a movie, it was really good. Um, it was a very intense thriller. Um, and yeah, I have to praise the filmmakers for making a really good thriller. Now, um, this film, I don't want to spoil anything, but the film is basically about this woman. She finds herself in, a, um, in this room, um, basically. And John Goodman... Um, comes into this room and basically says to this woman we can't leave there's no way to get out because the air is unbreathable and there's another guy in here John Gallagher Jr um and yeah it's basically about them it was really interesting um I was really looking forward to seeing where it went where the story went and um yeah so for that reason I have to praise the filmmakers. This is the best I have seen Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She was brilliant. Um yeah, she she gave the best performance of her career, even better than she was in Scott Pilgrim. And that is saying something, because she was awesome in Scott Pilgrim. John Goodman was excellent as this um guy, and John Gallagher Jr. was really good as well. What surprised me about this film was the humour. It was funny. It was really funny. Um, yeah. Um, now for the negatives. Um, for me, the last ten minutes or so were a little bit silly. Because the rest of the film was quite a mature film. And then the last ten minutes or so, it was just a bit, you know, silly. And also, from time to time, the pacing was a bit, you know, off, I guess you could say. Um, it wasn't really... Some bits of the film were really fast-paced, and it kind of slowed down, picked up, slowed down. So, yeah. Overall, 10 Cloverfield Lane is a really good film. I really liked it. I'd give the first Cloverfield a B+. Plus. Um, so that means it's a very good film, Cloverfield, the first one. And I also really like this one. I'm going to give 10 Cloverfield Lane a B+. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've seen 10 Cloverfield Lane, what did you think of it? Um, so, leave, if you want to, leave your thoughts of this film in the comments below. Um, so, yeah, Blu-ray Billy, logging off.